from I can see people saying mimi niko Kabiria mm -hmm. I can see Pastor James wengine wanasema ah oh, I'm watching all the way from Thika and I'm being blessed God bless you God bless you God bless you wengine wanasema eh 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 show ya leo iko juu iko juu sana ambia DJ tunamuona na iko juu sana God thank bless you, so you sir much. yeah thank you so, so tuko hapa na DJ this is mpaka midnight and uh, briefly we want to receive the man of God to come and give us the word and I remember our um, uh, our theme tonight our theme tonight turning to God turning to God to worship to worship very important very, very it is very important to worship very, the Lord najua hapo nyumbani tumebarikiwa and I know God will bless you thank you thank you let thank us you. welcome now the servant of God to come and take over nitarudi hapa tutasoma hizo messages zote praise and worship they are the the, the look up band they are coming back and also us together with DJ Munga DJ we are coming Munga. Amen. Right up the word. God bless you. Thank you so Becky much. Anasema, tavadhali, DJ, mahali. We want to see you. God bless you. Asante Thank you, Bishop. Asante. Welcome. Let's welcome our Bishop. Awadad. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you, our wonderful viewer. Uh, I am blessing the Lord for this beautiful, lovely time that God has given unto us, even to be here and be blessed. I trust that you have been blessed by that lovely worship. And praise and also DJ, thank you for good work. And I know that even after I share the word, you are going to be back and continue to bless us. Hallelujah. I want to share the word of God very briefly. I know I don't want to keep you long. I know you are waiting for more music to be blessed. And I know that God is going to bless you. Uh, my name is Bishop Dr. Ken uh, from Revival Sanctuary of Glory. And I thank God for you. Thank you for tuning for those who are following us through the Facebook page, may God bless you, Luca page. And also for those who are looking following us through the TV channel, may God bless you. From wherever you are watching us or following us, may God bless you and keep you well. Let me read a uh, verse in the book of Isaiah chapter number uh, 30 and verse number 21. Uh, the Bible say, uh, Isaiah 30 and verse number 21, uh, the Bible say, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Hallelujah. I will repeat again. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. I bless the name of the living God for this scripture that we are reading here. Is talking about following God. And uh, the theme tonight is turning to God uh, through worship. And you see, the scripture is talking about whether you turn to the right or you turn to the left, you hear a voice telling you this is the way. Walk in it, follow it. Which is this way? For tonight, the way we are talking about is the way of worship. The way of reaching God, the way of coming near to God is through worship. What is worship? It's when we commit ourselves to pour our heart before God. We dedicate ourselves fully in serving God, in doing his will, in glorifying him, in praising him. And then when we worship the Lord, we worship God with our hearts, with our life, with our bodies, with our mind, with our soul, and with everything. And let me tell you, child of God, do you know something? God can do many things, but God cannot do one thing. God cannot worship himself. That is one thing that God cannot do. He cannot worship himself. And that's why he created you and me, and he created us for this purpose, to continue worshiping him. To continue glorifying him and praising him. You can encourage me by saying amen. Because God created you with a purpose. He created you with a reason. He gave you a spiritual assignment. He gave you some responsibility. And this responsibility is God created you to worship him. And you know God is not worshipped by animals. God is not worshipped by trees. God is not worshipped by hills, by mountains, by rivers and valleys. But God is worshipped by human beings. People who he created in his own image. People who he created with a purpose to worship him, to glorify him. 
No wonder the Bible said, the psalmist said, Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us glorify the Lord. So we were created to worship the Lord. And tonight, my wonderful viewer, I want to encourage you, let's turn to the way of worshiping the Lord. Let us turn to the way of seeking the face of God. Let us turn to the way of humbling our soul before the Lord. I like the way Isaiah say here. He said, whether you turn to the left or you turn to the right, whichever way you turn, you shall hear a voice. You shall hear a voice telling you, this is the right way. To, uh, uh, this is the right way for you to follow. Let me tell you, do you know that even in our inner heart, our conscience, our deep conscience, our deep concerns, there is a voice. It's somewhere where the voice of God lads. Even if you are going in the wrong way or doing the wrong thing, you always hear a voice telling you this is the right thing. This is the right way. This is what you ought to do. That means the way God created us. He created we, us with a certain inherent voice, a certain inner deeper voice. That's where we can hear the voice of God. That's the voice of the Holy Spirit. That's the voice of God. And I pray tonight that your ears will be open. Not only the physical ears, but the inner spiritual ears. The inner spiritual ears of the hearing the voice of God. I do trust even the praises, the worship that we had here. It was a preparation to prepare your heart. So you can be able to hear that little soft voice, that inner voice. You know sometimes God may not speak in a thunder form, though if you want to choose he can. God may not speak in that mighty um, uh, voice uh, that big voice. Sometimes God will speak in that still inner voice and he speak to you. And that's what the Bible says. Whether you turn to this side or you turn to the right, you shall hear an inner voice telling you, this is the right way. 408, do let the right thing. Do the right thing that you need to do, and you shall meet with God. So tonight, I want you to know that God is turning you to the way of worship. He is turning you to the way of praising him. He is turning you to the way of glorifying him. Into the way of lifting him. Into the way of magnifying him. Into the way of lifting him and glorifying him. I just pray that you, you, you offer yourself as a living sacrifice. The way the Bible says, offer your bodies as living sacrifice. Holy and true. That means God wants us to worship him. Even with our bodies. To worship him with our spirit, to worship him, with our finances, to worship him, with whatever we have, with our families, we worship him. I just pray in your life that you desire to worship God. The whole of yourself, you may worship God. With everything you have, you may worship the Lord. That's why the Bible says here, uh, the word of the Lord is speaking a very beautiful, lovely thing. He said, whether you turn to the right or to the left, Sometimes we can turn to the right away from the law, or we can turn to the right and hear the Bible say, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. I pray today through worship that the voice of God will reach you. Through prayers, the voice of God will be able to reach you and will be able um, to minister to your right. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice saying to you, this is a way, walk in it. There are many ways here on earth. And people choose many ways. But let me tell you, the best way for you to choose, it is the way of following God. It is the way of doing his perfect will. It is a way of serving God. You know, there's nothing that is as good and sweet and fulfilling like serving God with all your heart. Uh, when you serve the Lord with all your commitment and with a holy heart, there's nothing as good as that. So the Bible says, you hear a voice behind you. Could be even as I speak here. There's already a voice behind you 
telling you this is the right way. And if maybe you are not born again, or you are there, and maybe you have been messing up, you have done wrong, you always hear a voice. It may be even as I speak, my wonderful via, wherever you are watching us or listening us, all over the country, maybe the voice of God is reaching you. The voice of God is coming right to where you are. I want to declare tonight, may you hear God speaking. May you hear the voice of God. I don't know what is your desire tonight. As you choose, as you offer yourself, as you commit yourself to serve God, as you commit yourself to worship God, as you commit yourself, you turn to God in worship. That's our theme tonight, turning to God. So this means... God is calling us to forsake our wicked ways and to turn to him because you cannot worship God unless you have a relationship, unless you have a fellowship, unless he is your maker, unless you are born again, unless you are a child of God, unless you fear God. Now here the Bible says, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear uh, a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Turning to God in worship. We want to turn to the way of the Lord. What is turning? Turning is like making about you change direction. You turn to God. There's a scripture I want to read in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter number 45. Isaiah chapter number um, uh, 45. Uh, there's a verse I want to read. 45 and verse number 22. Uh -huh. Thank you my wonderful viewer. Today I've come with a big Bible. And we're able to knock out every devil. <laughs> oh, the Bible says, uh, Isaiah chapter number 45 and verse number 22. Uh, reading from this manual Bible. The Bible says, Isaiah 45, verse number 22. The Bible says, turn to me and be saved. Uh -huh. Turn to God and be saved. Turn to me. And when I was reading this scripture, it's what uh, I've been reading the word and meditating on the scripture. Uh, this is the scripture that uh, I was reading today. And I combined with the first I've just read in the book of Isaiah uh, 13, verse number 21. And it is all time talking about turning to the direction of God. And now here the Bible says, Isaiah 45, verse 22. Turn to me and be saved, all you, all you end of the earth. And this message is reaching all the end of the earth. We are on Facebook. And Facebook is global. So everywhere the message is reaching. And wherever it is reaching you. You can text us in Australia. In USA. In Europe. In Asia. Wherever. In Africa. In any part. Even in Brazil. You can write to us and tell us how the word of God is reaching you. So here the word of God says. Turn to me and be saved. All you heads of the earth. Uh -huh. That's why I've touched those continents. For I am God and there is no other. God say, for I am God and there is no other. That means, even though men and women have come up with many type of God, they love to worship. There is only one true God. There is only one supreme king. There is only one true God who is the creator of heaven and earth. And no other gods are a subject to this supreme God. And now here the Bible say, turn to me and be saved, or you ends of the earth, for I for I am God and there is no other. Oh, glory be to God. And God say, for I am God. I am God. The God we are worshipping tonight. The God you are worshipping wherever you are. The God you are devoted yourself to love. The God you are devoted yourself to follow. He say, uh -huh, I am God and there is no other. I bless the name of the Lord. He say, and there is no other. That means there is no other God like our God. Yahweh, there is no other God like our God. The great God, the creator of heaven and earth. And now the Bible say, turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth. For I am God and there is no other. He say, by myself I have, I have sworn. My mouth has uttered in all integrity. There's no one with integrity like God. There's no one who has a wisdom career like our God. He said, by myself I have sworn. 
and my mouth has uttered no integrity, a word that will not be revoked. Before me, every knee will bow. By me, every tongue will swear. Hallelujah. He said, uh -huh, my viewer, he said, by me, every tongue, every knee will bow. Hallelujah. I am talking about bowing. Hallelujah. When you talk about bowing, it is kneeling. Everybody will humble himself before God. And God said, before me, let me tell you, it is good to put our pride down. It's good for us to humble ourselves before God. Because he said, before me, I like the word of God. He said, before me, every knee will bow. Whether it is a knee, a knee of a ruler, is a need of a king, is a need of a president, is a need of a governor, is a need of prime minister, is a need of whoever. Every need will bow. Let me tell you, the beginning of being lifted begins with humility. And that's why the Bible says, before me every need will bow, by me every tongue will swear. Hallelujah. That means, as we kneel before the Lord, we shall humble ourselves before the Lord. We shall worship God. We shall praise him, turning to God in worship. That's our message. We want to turn to God in worship by kneeling, by humbling before God. We humble before our ruler. We humble before our maker. We humble ourselves. Let your life be broken. Let your heart be broken. Let your life be broken. Humble before the Lord. The Bible says, humble yourself before the Lord so that the Lord may lift you up. So the Bible says, and by myself I've sworn, God I've sworn, it is a mass, something will happen. My mouth has uttered no integrity. A word that will not be revoked. Before me every knee will bow. Before me every tongue will swear. Hallelujah. Every knee will bow and every tongue and every tongue will be able to confess. Let me say tonight, can you turn to God in humility? Can you turn to God in worship? Can you turn to God in doing his will? When the Bible say, uh, verse 22, turn to me and be saved. That means it is addressing, it is even touching the unsaved, the unconverted. And if you are there, if you are not born again, I will share with you, I will pray with you. Because the Bible says, turn to me and be saved. There is no other savior. There is no other God who can save. It is only our God who is able to save. It's only our God who is able to redeem our heart. It's only our God who is able to change our life. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Let me finish by reading the book of John, chapter number 4. The Bible said, and for verse number 19, uh, sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain. But you Jews claim that the place where we must worship, worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus declared, believe me, woman, a time is coming when you worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know for salvation. Salvation, which I mentioned, is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming. Oh, glory be to God. Yet a time is coming and has now come. When the true worshippers will worship the Father in his spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. God is spirit and his worshippers must worship in his spirit and in truth. Oh, glory be to God. The Bible says God is spirit. You can lift your hand and declare God is spirit. Wherever you are, you can repeat after me and mention and say God is spirit. Hallelujah. So the Bible says mm -hmm, God is spirit. So God has called us to turn to him in worship. And this is turning to his Holy Spirit. It is turning to God through the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says turn to God. And when you turn to God to worship, look at the scripture I've read in the New Testament, the book of John. This is, John, uh, this is Jesus who is talking with a good Samaritan woman. And you see, this Samaritan was not yet born again. 
was not yet converted. But when he, she heard the gospel, she turned to God and she began to worship. Actually, the Bible says, when she was converted, she became the first woman evangelist. And she went back to her city and she began to proclaim, come and see a man who has told me everything I've ever done. Could she, could he be the Christ? Hallelujah. That's mean, you see, when she recognized Jesus, the, uh, when she turned to Jesus, she was converted. She had the voice of God and God made her to be a worshiper and also an evangelist. I pray tonight as I go to wider. May God make you to be a worshiper. May God make you to be somebody devoted to glorify God. Devoted to worship the Lord. The Bible say uh -huh, that it turn to me and be saved. Turn to me and become a worshiper. Turn to me and become committed to God. And when you turn to God, God will change your life. God will work upon your life. So, our theme tonight is turning to God in worship. Can you forsake your uh, life that is not pleasing to God? And can you choose tonight to turn? To turn is doing an action. To turn is forsaking something. It is to turn. It is to change a change of mind. Can you have a change of mind to become a worshiper? Can you have a changed heart? A heart a broken. May you remove a hard heart. And have a soft heart that can hear the voice of God. Or can hear God speaking. God values you. And God loves you. And he has a plan for you. I want to pray together with you. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and just before I pray. For you. Um, before, and for the grace of worship to be upon you. I want to pray for those who want to receive salvation. The woman. The Samaritan woman. Turned to Jesus. May you turn tonight and be born again. If you are there, stretch your hand toward the screen and repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I come before you. I realize I'm a sinner. I pray may you cleanse me. May you wash me by your blood. Forgive me all my sin. Light my name in the book of life. From today, I am born again. I am converted. I'm a child of God. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for lighting my name in the book of life. Amen. Wherever you have watched and repeated that prayer, let me pray for you. Father God, I pray for those who may have repeated that prayer all over the world, wherever they are, even this lovely country and even this lo lovely county of Nairobi. I pray may you touch them, O God. May you write their names in the book of life. Make them to be converted and to be children of God. I thank you and I honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say amen. Amen. Before I wind up, I want to bless those who have been worshiping together with us. That God will pour the grace of worship upon you. Turning to God in worship. Father God, I pray. May you bless dear Lord, our viewers. May you touch them, O God. As we make a choice of turning to you in worship. I pray may you bless our life. May you change our life. May you make us to be converted. May we have a new heart. May we become people who love to worship you in spirit and in truth. Doing your will. Praising you, Lord. Lifting you, O Lord. Glorifying you and fulfilling your purpose. I thank you, Lord. I adore you. Thank you for our viewers. Thank you for speaking to us. In Jesus' holy and mighty name we pray. Everybody say amen. Amen. May the Lord God bless you. May the Lord God do good. Can you clap to Jesus wherever you are? Hallelujah. May God bless you. May God do you good. Amen. Thank you so much. Let me return over to uh, the uh, host of what tonight, uh, Pastor Martin, to come and give us the next session. Welcome. Thank you. Bless Thank you. you. Wow. Amen. Wow. Wow. What a word. What a word. Turning to God. In worship. We thank God. Thank you, Bishop. May God bless you. That is a powerful word. Powerful word. Amen. And I believe so many people have been watching. Malaki, God bless you. Sheroji, God bless you. I can see so many. Josh Kamau is saying, I'm blessed. 
in the name of Jesus. Becky, God bless you. God bless you. We can see uh, Baba Stephanie. God bless you. All the way from Kajiado. They are saying, I'm blessed by Bishop. God bless you. God bless you, Bishop. Amen. I want the DJ to give us uh, one or two songs, and then after that we get a presentation from one of the men we love, in Ito Mangene, and then after that we shall come and wrap up. And I know God will bless you. DJ, are we doing well? God bless you. God bless you. We are doing well. DJ, I'm waiting. I cannot sleep. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Huh? You're doing a good job. Now, uh, before you even go there, man, again, please come. Come and give us a presentation. And then we move on. And I know God will bless you. Wow. Things are going well. Thank you for those who are watching us. Yes. And I know God will bless you. Thank you.